I like that. Okay, so that's well, what you're supposed to do. And basically, like, with something like this, it's like, it's a what? An 18 inch? 15. 15. 15 and 24. 15 and 24. Okay, so now, it looks like on this guy here, it looks like it's holding three bottles. This can hold up to 20, 24 to 30 bottles, depending upon the brand. Okay. Yeah, well, that's, that's pretty good. Yeah. Two cases. Yeah, that's great. Now, um, a price on say, does it, and does the price really change that much if you're going from say a 15 inch to a 24 inch? Not really. It doesn't. Okay, so if you have the space, if you have the space, go for the open a bigger one. No. Okay, great. Um, and what is that? Something like a one refrigerator? Well, um, depending upon um, the brand, you can expect to spend 1,400 to 30. 500, really? depending upon the brand and the features. Okay. These are single zone refrigerators, or wine refrigerators, which means that you'll set the temperature up here, and based on the fact that cold air falls, you're going to naturally create a temperature gradient. It will always be colder, a few degrees colder on the bottom than it will on the top, so you'll sort, store White your whites wine, on the bottom yeah. and your reds on the top. Those are the, the, the uh, more affordable units. If you want a unit that's a dual zone, KitchenAid, mm -hmm. this actually will cr create two distinct temperature zones. Wow. There will be no differentiate. I mean, there's a differentiation between each one. So you can actually say, I want this to be 45 for your whites, and I want this to be, you know, 60 for your reds. And it will stay there, and you'll, you'll be able to monitor the temperature. Oh, that's terrific. But these will cost a little more. Okay. So basically, what is, like, of, say, the price of, say, the KitchenAid, which obviously makes a good refrigerator, so I'm sure that they must make a good wine refrigerator. A very refrigerator. reasonable wine refrigerator. I have, I actually have this at home. Mm -hmm. um, retail, about 1500 Wow, that's great. Yeah, and some and, zeros and is 30 and, something. Wow, and that's with the dual? With the dual. Oh, that's wonderful. Yes. That's terrific. Now, how many bottles does uh, the 24-inch hold? 24-inch will hold uh, 48 to just under 60 Oh my gosh, I could have a party. <laughs> I could have a party with all my wine in here. Okay, that's terrific. And you said that Marvel is also great. That yes. That's basically, that's what they do, under cabinet refrigeration. Yes. So that's their specialty, so I'm sure that that has to be. Refrigerators, refrigerator drawers, ice makers, all of that. Okay, so, so how are there, because I need refrigerator drawers, what are we looking at as far as refrigerator drawers? What are the two companies that you would, um, that you would recommend? Um... Actually, there's a bunch of good ones out there. I would say, uh, again, KitchenAid comes in there for price point. Mm -hmm. KitchenAid, Marvell, um, Sub Zero, Perlick, mm -hmm. and um, who am I missing? And Monogram, GE Monogram. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. Monogram. Have to show this because this is just this cracks me up. Look how tiny this is. <laughs> refrigerator drawer, okay, for for the client that wants to have like you know a refrigerator drawer, but doesn't want to, that doesn't have a lot of space. I think this mm -hmm. is this is and that can be panel too. That is wonderful. I mm -hmm. love that, and it also has a little tiny um, wine refrigerator. So if you want to put yes, the unit together, can do it. now if I'm moving down from the Perlick, okay, and basically what are we looking at as far as Perlick prices? Are we? Um, they're up. They're even more than Sub Zero. Son of a gun. Mm. Well, there you go.